Hello everyone. So the problem is pivot in a shorted and rotated array. So let me first understand what is the actual problem. So here you are provided with an shorted array which may or may not be rotated. And what you have to do, you have to find a pivot element. So what is pivot element? The shortest element in the array is known as pivot element. So if the array is shorted, so the first element will be known as pivot element. Like here, 10, 20, 30, 40, the array is shorted and not rotated. So the first element is pivot element. If we rotate the array by one, so what it will be? 40, 10, 20, 30. So the pivot element will lies here. If we rotate the element by two, so the pivot element will run here. And if we rotate the array, by 3 the pivot element will lies here so let's take one more example where the number of element will be 5 so again if the array is not rotated the value which is present as index 0 is called pivot element if we rotate the array by 1 so the array would be 50 10 20 30 40 the element will lies here if we rotate the array by 2 pivot element will lie here and if we rotate the element by 3 so the array will be 30 40 50 10 20 the element will be lies here and if we rotate the array by 4 the pivot element will be lies at the end so the actual problem is you have to find this pivot element in log n time complexity So anyone can find this pivot element in n time complexity by simply by simply checking we'll run a for loop and check if in a shorted array the ARR of i plus 1 is always greater than ARR of i. So if ARR of i plus 1 will less than ARR of i then that element ARR of i plus 1 will be known as pivot element. Like if this is i it is i plus 1. So i plus 1 is less than i. So that i plus 1 element is known as pivot element. But we have to find this in log n complexity. So what we will use, we will use the concept of binary search. So let me tell you. So here the mid value will be present here. Here the mid is here. Here the mid present here only. Here the mid is present here. Here the mid is present here. So check if the high value is greater than mid value, it means the pivot element lies in the left side of the mid. Again, in this condition, here is high the high value is greater than mid value so again here the pivot element which lies on the left side of the mid now check here again high value is greater than mid again the pivot element will lies on the left side of the mid now this is the high value is less than here the mid is greater than high. It means the pivot element will lies on the right side of the mid. Again in this, here is high and here is mid. So mid is greater than high. So the pivot element will lies on the right side of the mid. So this is the small concept. 
which we will use in our code. Now let's take one more example with this four element. So here I is this mid will be this. So high is greater than mid. It means the pivot element will lie on the left hand side. Here also it is mid. It is high. So high is greater than mid. So the pivot element will lie on the left side of the mid. Here again it is mid. It is high. So in this situation the mid is greater than high. It means the pivot element will lie on the right side of the mid. Again here, the mid is this and the high is this. Again, mid is greater than high. So here also, the mid will be lies on the right side of the, the pivot element will lies on the right side of the mid. So now, Let's write the code. Initially, we are taking low equal to zero and high equal to ARR dot len minus one. And what we are checking while li less than high. So if ARR of mid less than ARR of high, it means high greater than mid. So what does this means? The pivot element is present at the left side of the mid. So we are defining mid as sorry high as equal to mid or else the element will lie on the right side of the mid so low equal to mid plus one and in the end what we'll do we will return arr of low high anything because at last it will low will be equal to high and here we didn't find the mid so int mid equal to low plus high divided by 2 now let's run this to accept it not submit so i hope you understand this very well so if you have any doubt you can comment it on the comment section thank you